So obviously one of the main selling points of the Motorola Zoom is the Android 3.0 software. And it's really unlike anything that we've seen before from Google. There's been a lot of attention to detail here. Um, but there's also a little bit of a learning curve versus the smartphones because they're trying to make the most of the available real estate that a tablet gives you. Uh, the OS is so new that Google has really invented a whole new vocabulary. What you, know, what you see down here is the system bar. And that includes the home button, the back button, and those are always present. Uh, but our favorite feature here is uh, just the ability to pull up the most recently opened apps. And this works both in landscape and portrait mode. You know, so, but as you can see, like one of the problems that we have with the OS is that it's not all that responsive yet, and hopefully it can be fine-tuned. But like even like something like the accelerometer, it just takes too long to kick in, especially versus the, the iPad. But this feature in particular is great because it gives you the icon, it gives you a live thumbnail view of what you're looking at. So it's a really nice feature. As we take our visual tour to the right, as what you can see down here is the notification area which has been revamped. No longer do you pull down from the top of the screen. All the notifications show up here uh, and you can click on any one of these individually but the best thing to do is just click on the time and you'll see all of them at once. So for, for example we see you know, an IM from a colleague and we can open that or we can dismiss it you know, with the X. So that's, you know, it's a pretty elegant way to handle notifications. And as you can see also the whole interface sort of you know, grays or blacks out a little bit on the right hand side. So it's a nifty UI effect. If you want to dig into the settings, you don't have to click the settings icon. All you have to do is just click this little thing right here and you'll see you know, toggles for airplane mode, Wi-Fi, uh, and other settings like you know, brightness which you can just you know, drag up and down. So that, that's pretty nice. And you can also you know, toggle a little bit more if you wanted to go into other settings here if you want to dig a little bit deeper. So if you have a lot of notifications, you'll see all of them in a stack right here and any time you can bring up the settings without leaving this menu. So, you know, very well done, but you know, again, it's good. people are just going to have to discover that feature. It's on the top right, you see the plus button. And what that does is lets you customize the, the Zoom tablet to your heart's content. And we really like the way that uh, Google and Motorola work together to make this an, a pretty easy process. What you're seeing are the five home screens and at any time you can take a widget or an app shortcut and put it on any screen that you want. So let's say for example we want you know, Angry Birds, you press and hold over here and you just put it on that screen. And when you go on that screen you can actually be more specific and pinpoint it in any direction. But what's really exciting about Android 3.0 is that the widgets not only are they um, not only are they easy to sort of populate the home screens, they're also interactive. So this is CNN, the widget that's tied to their new app, and you can see you can sort of flip through the top stories. And there's some UI elements here that are 3D, so it tells you that uh, they're trying to take advantage of the Tegra 2 horsepower from NVIDIA uh, in, in some pretty clever ways. And again, you can sort of, as you scroll through, you saw that 3D animation. So that 3D-ness is pretty pervasive throughout Android 3.0, and the same thing goes here with YouTube. One of our favorite widgets is email, and in particular Gmail. And you can sort of do some email triage and just go, you know, jump through your inbox and see what's worth uh, responding to without having to open an app. So there's a lot of time-saving elements to Android 3.0. Uh, and the last but not least, on the upper left-hand side, you have uh, the Google search, which is always pervasive, and this can be used for a universal search. So let's say if I wanted to search for Angry Birds as an application, you can see that it automatically populates on the right-hand side. So this dual pane effect is also pervasive throughout a lot of applications. So that's definitely welcome on a tablet. One thing that's important is that the menu button uh, hasn't been obliterated, but it's definitely been minimized in terms of importance. So if you go into an application like Gmail, they have something called the action bar. And what this is, is that towards the top of the screen, there's always contextual elements. So here you can search, you can compose a new message and refresh, although that's a little redundant on the push Gmail application. And you do have settings that you can dig into, but I think what Google is trying to accomplish with the, the Zoom and other tablets is that you don't have to dig into the settings to do the things that people want to do most often. So since we're here, um, what we like about Gmail is that not only do you have um, this action bar and you have the dual pane elements, um, you can also drag and drop messages. So if you already have mess you know, these folders set up, I can move this over.
And you can see up top on the right hand side, you can see that the labels have changed in, in the uh, action bar. So a little bit of a lag there. But you know, it works fairly smoothly.